everyone, we're going to test the series for convergence or divergence. We're going to use the alternating series test. So what we want to do is look at this as a whole. This whole thing we're going to call A sub N. And then we can also write B sub N. So we'll write N equals 1 to infinity. And I'm going to write negative 1 to the nth power. And uh, this will be B sub N is N divided by cube root or square root of N cubed plus 2. So this is B sub N. So if you look at the whole thing, we're looking at A sub N. But when you're doing the alternating series test, you're only looking at this piece. Okay, so just looking at this, B sub N, which equals N divided by square root of N cubed plus 2. That is positive. We need it to be positive. Uh, but that has to be for N is greater than or equal to 1. Um, it is decreasing for n is greater than or equal to 2. So we'll set it for that, and let's look and see why. So we write a sub 2 plus a sub 3. Let's uh, do some numbers, a sub 4. So if you substitute in 2, this is going to be 2 divided by um, square root of 10 and you substitute in 3, you're going to get 3 divided by, um, let's see, 27, this will be square root of 29, plus 4 divided by 4 cubed is 64, plus 2 is 66. So basically, our denominator gets larger and larger. So our, this number is going to be uh, smaller than this number because this denominator keeps getting larger. So our b sub n plus 1, which is the next term, is always going to be smaller than the previous term. So that's just looking at that. Or you could take the derivative um, of this and see that it is less than 0. But um, that takes a little longer. So this was a good way to do it. Now the last thing we have to do is find the limit as uh, n approaches infinity of b sub n. That should equal 0. So let's look and see what we have. Uh, let's go ahead and take our b sub n and divide everything by um, n. So I'm going to do that on the next slide. I'm going to write um, b sub n equals n divided by um, square root of n cubed plus 2. And then to take the limit as n approaches infinity, I'm going to divide everything by n. So n divided by n. And the denominator is going to be um, square root of n cubed plus 2. And I'm going to go ahead and divide this by square root of n squared. Square root of n squared still equals n. Now simplifying this, we're going to get the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 divided by, you write the square root of um, n cubed divided by n squared plus 2 divided by n uh, divided by n squared. This just equals n, so basically what we have is the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 divided by square root of n plus 2 divided by n squared. So looking at putting a large number in here, this is going to go to 0, and we have uh, 1 divided by square root of n, and as this number gets larger and larger, this goes to 0. So the limit does, the limit as n approaches infinity of our series, um, this part here is 0. Therefore, we do have a convergent series. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.